Welcome back to OHL Tonight on your TV. Really quick, to our OHL Tonight trivia. Who will the Peterborough Beats be playing on February 3rd in their pink in the ring game? Submit your answer on Facebook or on Twitter for a chance to win a $30 Van Gogh Flowers gift card and tickets to an upcoming Pete's game. Now, speaking of pink in the rink, Gary Dalladay down here at ice level with us. Gary, you're one of the honorary chairs. going to be throwing to a feature of the presser for that from yesterday. But uh, how did that come to be? And uh, you talked a little bit about it during the press conference. Yourself, Pete, and Tori, but what an honor is it for you? Well, Dan, uh, about, I guess, a month ago, Matt D'Agostini approached Pete and I and uh, asked if we would be honorary chairs. And uh, without a blink when I, we both accepted like that. I think it's a wonderful night. They've been so very successful in the past, and uh, hopefully this one, and I know it will be, will, will be just as good, and hopefully we can, I think Pete mentioned, uh, maybe we can raise $60,000, and uh, as far as the names on the sweaters, uh, I know I've already sold some, Pete has sold some, and uh, there'll be more out on that and how you do it, but uh, it's going to be a good night, and uh, both Pete and I are honored and privileged to uh, play a small part in it, and uh, I know it's going to be good all around for both of us. Yes, and you yourself, you've battled with cancer twice now, uh, so how does that affect your approach to it? Uh, I'm sure it means a lot to Pete as well to be a part of it with you. Well, absolutely, and I had so much support from uh, my family, Pete, uh, Tim, Kristen, my other kids, and of course my wife Donna. We uh, we all battled it together, and uh, it was a little tough. But I never did have the attitude, you know, why me? You got it, and I think that's such a key thing with that disease. You you got to have the right attitude and uh, strength and whatnot to follow through and do it. But it, it's a it's a terrible disease, and if we can uh, help raise some money for uh, you know doctors in Peterborough and the, and the hospital because there's new equipment coming out all the time that'd be a use to them and uh, that's, uh, that'll be just an excellent thing. Well Gary thanks so much for joining us at ice level now we'll throw to our feature from yesterday's presser and introduce you to the three honorary chairs for the Peterborough Peets Pink in the Rink on February 3rd. Saturday, February 3rd, 2018, marks the ninth annual Pete's Fight Cancer Pink in the Rink event, partnered with the Canadian Cancer Society. Each year, honorary chairs are named, and this year is no different. Familiar faces Pete and Gary Dalladay, along with one special survivor, will take the reins. And, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you so much for uh, thinking of us. I think um, our next guest is, uh, is really what it's all about, so... <coughs> I apologize, but um, she's got a great story, and um, we'll, we'll hear it. She's nervous as hell, and I'm probably not making it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let, you guys, I'll let you guys continue on with that, because the best is yet to come. Thank you. Grade 10 St. Pete student Tori Satiriatis may have been nervous, but it didn't show as she delivered her funding appeal to those in attendance. I'm a survivor and I hope to give those battling right now hope. Please support Canadian Cancer Society's Pink in the Rink event by helping me reach my $5,000 goal in the fundraising. There are many ways to donate, including dropping into the Canadian Cancer Society offices on the Kingsway, giving them a call at 705-742-3823, or track me down, you know, um, and whether you got a $20 donation uh, to get a name of someone that you've lost or someone that has fought it and, and beaten it, that, it doesn't matter. I mean, if they've, they've had cancer, if you lost someone with cancer, we'll get your name or that person's name on the jersey, which also goes on the t-shirt. The Pete's will be wearing the jerseys that night. And I don't care, I'll come pick it up uh, at your office or you know whatever the case may be. Just, you know, I'm out there a lot. So if you see me, uh, let's talk about it. There's room for 300 names on the Pink in the Rink jerseys, and Pete's GM, Mike Oak, will be taking up a few spots on his own for family members, including his mother, who passed away five years ago from pancreatic cancer. People can have uh, loved ones' names uh, put right on the jerseys. Not only are they attending the event, but they're active participants in the event by uh, having those names uh, in, in game action. And, and I think that brings the fans and members of the community closer together and feel uh, like a real part of the Pink in the Rink night. 
November 22nd is the last day to add a name to the jerseys, and tickets will sell out fast. But you can still participate even if you aren't able to get a name on a jersey or get tickets to the game. Let's uh, raise as much money as we possibly can. And I would like to remind people, I'm sure uh, Mike Oak and the Peaks uh, are saying the same thing. I mean, it's going to be a huge night. Don't be disappointed. We want it jammed, and I know it will be jammed. I mean, it's the biggest night of the year um, for the Peaks, I think. No disrespect to any of the other nights, but it, it's huge, right? So get your tickets early so, uh, so you don't get disappointed. And the other thing I did want to say is if you can't make it to the game, I mean, only about 3,800 people can get in there. I want to get the community, the community involved as much as possible. I've already talked to some guys from, say, Peterborough Public Works. How do we get those guys involved? How do we get them wearing pink that week? How do we get, you know, the Zamboni drivers in town wearing pink toques or whatever the case may be? I want to get everyone involved, whether they're a hockey fan or not, just supporting it that week and maybe the couple weeks leading into it. And, um, Looking forward to it. It's, 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 going to, it's going to be great. I can't wait to see Scotty Arnold wearing nothing but pink that night. <laughs> Get set to take part in the tradition at the rink. Also keep an eye out for the launch of the Pink in the Rink website, cancer.ca forward slash pink in the rink in mid-November. Let's help surpass the $60,000 goal.